That's the last of the snow from last night. The rest of it got washed away already. It is eight o'clock. I finally packed up. You can see with the last little bit of snow. It feels very like late out. I don't know if it's just because I stopped hiking at like one yesterday, but it feels like it's four o'clock right now. Uh, forecast looks clear. Uh, once again, no water sources for like the next 20 miles. So Pennsylvania is really bringing their A game. Guess we're in for a fun scrambly bit. So bypass trail rejoined in 1.5 miles. There must have been another reroute because I'm definitely on the AT. But far out says that I am not. Whatever the devil's pulpit is has closed. I'm having a thought that maybe I should have taken the blue blaze. But if I wasn't supposed to come up here, they should have had a sign saying not to follow the AT. So that's really on them. There is a sign under it, but if they wanted me to take the blue one, they should have said AT closed and I didn't die, so, yet. We're entering the state game lands now, I guess. That's what I decided to say. Um, Lehigh something. State game lands. I just slipped on some loose rock. My knee bent in a way it was not supposed to. I really thought I was about to break right there. Might still break. But it is too cold to stop and do anything. So I am not stopping unless I have to. Southern Pennsylvania better have some redeeming qualities because Pennsylvania has currently surpassed Georgia as the worst state on the trail. Blue Mountain Eagle Club welcomes you. This must be their section. This is a tiny little thing. It's big of a knob lean to. It's 11.45 and I've gone 6.8 miles, hoping to get at least another five miles in, maybe more. But these rocks are really taking a toll. This is the last point to a big of a knob. It was nice. Then it got rocky. This is the top of Bake Up and Knob. Not much of a view unless you like more rocks. Hunters wear orange, so should you. ATC and the Allentown Hiking Club strongly advise hikers and other users to wear blaze orange. A bit of a view. Approaching something called Knife's Edge, which sounds like a bunch of rocks. This is the start of the Knife's Edge. Looks so fun already. I hope this doesn't last long. It's kind of windy up here. I was gonna sit up here, but the lookout just texted me back, said they have space, so I am moving on. Problem with Pennsylvania is you have these really nice trails, and then they're like, you know what, as a punishment, you get to climb over these rocks. And not only are they rocks, but they're sharp rocks. This is the lookout. Nice view. A little building. This is the living room area. It's a dining table. Some nice pictures. And over here it looks like it's a private room. Yeah, 
There's a kitchen area. There's stuff for sale in the fridge. There's a little resupply. This is the bunkhouse. There's a washer and dryer here. And three bunks plus a shower and a toilet. It's a little chilly down in the basement and a little creepy because I am the only one here, but I am out of the wind and inside, so can't complain too much. Today I did 13.4 miles. I am 220 miles from West Virginia. So two days from now, I'll be under 200 miles, which pretty exciting. Um, and obviously the next milestone is under 100, which is way more exciting because it means I'll almost be done. Thank you for watching, commenting, donating, subscribing, and I will see you in the next one.